everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. Scheduled for 12 rounds of lightweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Davis's self-confidence seems to just come through with each step he takes down to the ring. Sugar's making his way down to the ring, and he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. That's a good left hand by Sugar. Davis's power is dynamic, truly dynamic. The kind of stuff that could end this fight early on. Yeah, it is, but there's a danger to that, too. If he doesn't land early on, if he doesn't have his way early on, maybe he gets discouraged. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Sugar. Back to the bottom. Oh. He clinches when he gets to the inside. He tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. shot. Unable to score with the hook. Thunders hit by that power shot. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him, a guy that's going to move a little bit, start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. Targeting that straight left hand. Not able to land the headshot. Davis is clamped down by a left hand. much action as he just ties up. Last 10 seconds. <laughs> Unable to score with the uppercut that time. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice 
can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say right, to him, hey, listen, right. you're going to catch him. Let's shorten fight. him up a little Keep bit. And you know what? Keep he's moving his head, so go to the body. Keep because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. Sugar's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Davis is well off the mark that time. him holding on this is excessive holding we're seeing here now ninety seconds to go here in this round Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good solid overhand left. And he just holds on there. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again. Good way to protect the midsection. Unable to connect by Davis. Now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Oh, he just sugars. Bang. Oh, that's got to hurt. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? All right, you got to bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. Right? Now, come on, relax. Relax. Shake it out. Shake it out. Here, look. Good. Keep that up. Keep those hands moving. There you go. All right, come on. Sugars gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round. But, Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has. And he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself together, and move forward. Engages in the clinch. Get in 
there. Let's go. Not an accurate hook at all. Defense just covering up down low. Razor sharp left hand by Thunder. He got to him. He heard him there. Davis's opponent is trying to smother him, but instead he's pushing him away, trying to land a big shot. And he's lucky he's getting away with it, Joe, that the referee's not warning him for this. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. That's it. Stay away from those. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Sugar. Nice! Keep moving, keep moving. Go, go, go. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. <laughs> Scored well with that straight left. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. You got any more of these? I'll give you one. Hold it. More blood? Uh, yeah. Stay away from that power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep it. moving side to side, all right? Round number four underway. Thunder's trailing on Teddy's scorecard in terms of rounds, two rounds to one. However, he has gotten to his opponent. There's a lot of hope ahead. Yeah, there's good news and bad news, though, Joe. We got to be honest about this. The good news, yeah, he's hurt him. And he knows he could hurt him again. The bad news is maybe he's just waiting to hurt him again, looking for one punch at a time, and his opponent outscores him. Sugar's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Blocks that belt line well. Sugar's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Davis is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. He missed with that headshot. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right.
targeting that overhand left. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Nothing there on the punch by Sugar. I shake it off. Sugar's hit flush by a right hand. Turns over that hook upstairs. Committing now to the left hand, good straight shot. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Fine looking right hand by Davis. And that's the end of round four. Deep Sugar's attitude Relax. of being effective Relax. and aggressive worked out well. Right? His opponent is damaged. I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep it. There you go. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Able to cover up that gut. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one, counter-punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. And he ties up on the inside. He just missed that shot up top. What a shot. Big hook comes in. He got rocked, he just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Get off the road. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. What a big shot. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Two, three, four, five. Davis's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Locks the headshot. Sugar's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is. And specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good. You know, they're attached. They're up around his chin. His elbow's in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Body shot. Didn't get it done going to the body there. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining in this round. <laughs> Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. You need to capitalize on his mistake, okay? We got want to see that counter hook. Huh? 
All right, I need you to sit down on your punches. Sit down on your punches, all right? When you get close, uppercut and hook. Get in and throw the uppercut and hook, all right? That's what they're there for. Body. So here we are, all wondering, can he survive the start of this round after the way we saw him go down in that last round? Well, it's up to his opponent, Liv. Now, his opponent gets a little careless and he rushes in a little bit too close. He could get a chance to grab those hands and tie him up. And then he could kill a little of the clock, survive. <laughs> And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Relax. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Davis is putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher, but Teddy He's not landing a lot of these punches. The what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit, and hey, he might not win the fight. He can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? <laughs> Unable to land clean by Davis. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. A piercing uppercut by Thunder. Come on, kid. Go. And he's holding. why they call it the sweet science. Good work by Davis. Yeah, real smart there. Making him miss, making him pay. Davis is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. What a solid left by Thunder. There it is. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. opponent a knockout victory what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore that does it ringside we'll see you next time at the fights